Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Today we're gonna be making our journey over to Fuchsia City, yet another new city we haven't been to. Uh, with this one, it's weird because there's more than one path there. If we take a look at our map, there is a path to the right and then a path to the left. I think we're gonna be taking the path to the right. And like, I guess we've, I don't think we've actually explored Route 12. I think we've gotten to the bottom of Lavender Town and took a peek and then we turned around. And then the Snorlax should be blocking the way here, which will wake up. But uh, for now, let's go to Lavender Town and we'll just use uh, Pikachu Eve's uh, Sky Dash. That'll be awesome. And then we should be good to go. That'll be awesome. So Lavender Town it is. We can just sort of skip out on everything going on here. I don't think there's anything new. I can talk to, talk to a couple people. Ah, the smell of incense is so refreshing. Okay, nothing new. So let's do it. Route 12, Eve being out in front will probably be the best idea, but I mean, if I really want good experience, I probably should put Charlotte out in front because Charlotte is also good against water types because if I know this area correctly, there's gonna be a lot of water types. So let's move our Pokemon and put Eve out in front. No, 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 Eve in the back and then Charlotte out in the front because she'll also do some good jobs. And this is a dead end already. <laughs> okay, go this way. And what, what does this say? Uh, Route 12, north to Lavender Town. Gotcha. But what about down this way? Um, hello. There's a lookout area upstairs with binoculars. The view is magnificent. Ooh, I would like to check that out. So up this way. Yeah, and there's some people up here too. A forgetful old man lives on Route 12, or so I hear. Well, okay. My Pokemon's ashes are resting in the Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM, I don't need it anymore. Oh, that is so sad. TM50 Roost. Team 50 is a move called Roost. It lets your Pokemon rest for a bit and recover some HP. I feel so bad for her, I'm so sorry. Let's see what the binoculars have to show. There's a man fishing. Uh, okay, what about this one? It's the Pokemon Tower. Okay, very, very enthralling stuff there. And I guess that's everything in this room, so we should just be able to continue south, where hopefully we can find some trainer battles along the way. Uh, so far, not too much, but I think we can battle the fisherman. Yeah, I got a bite here. So I guess we're sort of interrupting his good fishing day. I'm sorry, but I leave those fish alone. <laughs> what did they ever do to you? Fisherman Ned. You see not Staryu, oh cool. I haven't seen Staryu yet, this is the first. We've seen the evolution because Misty has it uh, back in that uh, gym leader battle. That was a while ago now, but we way out level this guy, so we should be fine just using Razor Leaf. Take you down, no problem. So it might be a bit of an easy going episode. I'm not really sure if I should have been doing this sooner or not. It was a little bit up in the air for me, I just don't really know. But there we go, Charlotte sure, got 182 experience. It's not gonna be too much, but it's still worth getting and Ned is defeated. It's just a small fry. All right, well, three Pokeballs for that. That's something, I guess. And uh, hang on, my line snagged. Okay, so this actually might be really nice and easy. Be patient, fishing is a waiting game. So I don't know if we'll ever get the move to swim into water. I would hope so. You were challenged by Fisherman Chip? All right, cool. Fisherman Chip sent out Poliwhirl. Ooh, so this should be fine. Poliwhirl's a really cool Pokemon. I like it. So Poliwhirl, you're gonna get taken down by uh, Charlotte here. So yeah, definitely I hope Charlotte can get some good experience today. I mean, she's level 42, which is way higher than most of these guys, but we're so close to getting our entire team over level 40, which I feel like is such a cool achievement. I think it'll be even cooler when we get our entire team over level 50, of course, but for right now, this is really awesome. That one got away. All right, well, we got you. And there was a Pokeball right behind him, which we'll grab in a moment. Even without a fishing rod, there's still a way to catch Pokemon in the water. Well, hopefully we can figure out what that is soon enough. You found a lure. Because I think there might even be a way to get a fishing rod in this game, some way, somehow. We'll try to figure it out. How can I like, get over here, though? The water is moving gently. I don't think I can at the moment, is the thing. I think eventually I'll figure that out, maybe if we go to Fuchsia City. The Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Wait, y you're the Fishing Fool? Why don't you call yourself that? I mean, hey, if, if you like the name, go ahead. Fisherman Hank. It's not Magikarp. Does he have three Magikarps? Is that the joke? He probably has three Magikarps. All right, Charlotte, show him who's boss. You got this, it's no problem. So uh, what is, oh no, not poison. Oh, that's gonna be a waste. Poison powder, it may poison you, but it's not gonna do much damage. Yep, poisoned, you're gonna use Splash, which luckily Splash usually doesn't do anything. This is drawing the battle a little longer than it has to be. Okay, fight and Razor Leaf. We're just gonna be using a lot of Razor Leaf today, which is great because there's a lot of uh, uses to it. It has 25 in total, so I think it'll be fine. 
So Magikarp is down. Along with it, what are you gonna throw out? Another Magikarp? I can only expect. See, King Action, I was wrong. I judged a book by its cover. But hey, that's fine. We'll still take out Sea King. I don't think that, this is definitely not our first time seeing Sea King. But we, we don't see Sea King too much. Sea King's a pretty cool Pokemon. There we go. Sea King is taken down. And then what else do you got then? I'm really curious to see now. It is Poliwag. Okay, so we've already seen a Poliwag today, but it's still a cool Pokemon to see. I think design wise, it's one of the most. Well, I mean, we saw Poliwhirl, gotcha. Design-wise, that whole evolution line of Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath, all super cute, and like a really cool looking Pokemon. All right, well, there we go. Poliwag fainted. There's another one down. Not too much experience right now, which makes sense. These guys are way under leveled compared to us. A touch too much to handle. So I'm not really expecting major gains from these guys or anything, but it'll be good to get past them. I guess you get to be good at what you like. Well, you beat me at Pokemon, but you can't top me at fishing. That's true. It's gotta keep practicing your craft. You found a rappel, not bad. I wanna get back on that island and find whatever that Pokeball has, you know? Fishing area. Well, it would be great if I had a fishing rod. Oh, there was a different kind of trainer over there. He might be a little bit more difficult. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more work. All right, well, I mean, it's good to know. You know, acceptance is the first part of improving, right? Fisherman Elliot. Hopefully you can get some more work soon. Gyarados, really? Wowee! First time seeing Gyarados, super cool. How in the world Magikarp evolves into this thing, I'll never know, but I love it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna do Petal Dance against you, just in case. I don't think it's necessary because we have so much more levels on it, but wowee, what a Pokemon. We had a shiny uh, Gyarados in Pokemon Quest. That was super cool. And now you're just gonna send out a Magikarp, which might be eventually a Gyarados. How cool is that? Okay, so let us, uh... oh, wait, I didn't even, did I choose Petal Dance? I didn't mean to, weird. Okay, it's super effective. That was way overdoing it for the, for the poor Magikarp. But there we have, oh, we're confused. Sharp became confused due to fatigue. Oh wow, I didn't know something that could happen, but I guess it can. You beat Fisherman Elliot, it's not easy. Luckily we're still getting like $1,000 per battle, which is good. It's all right, losing doesn't bug me. So let's take a look, is Charlotte still, I don't think like I don't think those like stats effects carry out of the, the uh, match in this game. Oh, hello. Your partner sure is cute, let's have a battle. So let's do it, so this is like Pokemon Coach, right? Something like that. It's Ace Trainer Zack. Okay, so it was a little wrong. Send out Tangela, which is a grass type as well, so I don't know how well we'll do with Charlotte. Let's see if she's still confused though. That's one of my main concern at the moment. Doesn't look like it. So let me take a look at Petal Dance. The user attacks the target by scattering petals to two to, for two to three turns. Oh, the user then becomes confused. That's why. I didn't realize it was, okay, I forgot about that part. Let's try it here. It's not gonna be very effective. So like we can't choose another move after this, but it's so damaging, it doesn't matter. So what other, other, whatever other Pokemon you have, 125 experience and level 40 for Kobe. That means everybody's over level 40. Once you learn the move Screech, I don't think you need to learn the move Screech, but check it out. Uh, an ear splitting Screech harshly lowers the target's defense stats. Uh, is that better than focus energy though? No, I don't think so. So we are going to Keep old moves. And let's see what else you're gonna throw out. You're gonna send out Onyx. Um, I'm going to switch Pokemon. I do not want to, uh, Charlotte going against that because it won't work out very well. But Onyx would be very weak to Blastoise and his Bubble Beam. Let's try that out a little bit, shall we? Go on, Tonka. I know you can do it. Tonka's looking good to go. Okay, we can handle you. Bubble Beam and that should get you. Nice, it did. Okay, very cool. So uh, 391 experience, still not like a ton of experience because they're all under level 30. I've got to stop being fooled by cuteness. <laughs> is this something that happens often to him? I guess so. We got five ultra balls for that, which is a really good reward. All right, time for a plan for to form a plan to distract other trainers with cuteness. Okay, good luck. Oh, and three more ultra balls, very good. Glad to see all of that. 
And, oh, hey, here he is, the Snorlax. The Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to use the Poke Flute? I think I do. I gotta be careful. Maybe we should save first, because I think that we can actually battle the Snorlax and potentially catch it. But to do that then, I want to make sure I save, because that way maybe if we mess this up. Oh, maybe I did do the gym leaders out of order. Weird. Okay. You see the badges there were sort of off. Let's go ahead and wake you up. That way, like, you know, if we do battle you and I have the chance to catch you. Oh, I like it. You played the pokey flute. We can try to catch you, and if I mess it up, I can reload it. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you, and it looks hungry. Hey, Zebra. Look, who was that? What? Oh, it's Mr. Fuji. There's something that I forgot to mention when I gave you the pokey flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, the Pokemon is called, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help it calm down by battling it with your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it, just like any other Pokemon. So, we actually get to have a wild Pokemon battle in a way. Weird, Snorlax mistook you for food and attacked. So can he actually eat a person? Well, Snorlax appeared. He's really just a big bear. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, go on, Charlotte. I know you can do it. This is super cool. I like it. So uh, let's fight. Man, I don't know what typing Snorlax is. We're just gonna go ahead and do Petal Dance again. It, it's very effective, and we have like eight levels on this guy, so we should be fine. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Use Lick. Ooh. Okay, critical hit. Charlotte, use Petal Dance. Match time. What, what's with the match time on the top left? Will he fall back asleep or something? Oh gosh, he's gonna heal himself. Slept and became healthy. Ooh, I should probably switch over to Eve. Eve can do like the biggest burst of damage in the shortest amount of time. Especially now that Charlotte's confused. Snox is fast asleep, which means you're gonna heal yourself again, right? No, okay. Pokemon, we're running out of time fast. It keeps going through the menus. I don't know what that means, but we're about to find out. I really want to catch you. I really, really want to catch you. This is cool. This is like intense. It's like the most intense moment so far. I like it. So Nox is fast asleep. I know, I know. It takes too long. Uh, we're gonna do thunder. Hit you with the thunderbolt. It should do a ton of damage. We're even higher level than Charlotte was, so hopefully, boom. Oh, almost. Used yawn. What does yawn do? Does it make, oh, come on, it's gonna make Eve fall asleep. Eve gets drowsy, but hasn't fallen asleep yet. Use Zippy Zap quick, Zippy Zap. Come on, whoa, come on, you got it. Three and a half minutes left anyways. Very cool, critical hit. How cool was that? Well, what's happening now? Oh, now's your chance, catch the wild Snorlax. So let's go ahead and immediately, oh, not do it Master Ball, but we will do Ultra Ball. And then I'll go back into my bag and we'll also use a, an Anab Berry, Golden Panap Berry, a berry that makes you drastically more likely to get an item, uh, and a Raspberry, it's a little easier. Okay, try it. Did that make it any easier? We're about to find out. Oh, an excellent throw, that couldn't have gone any better. He takes up like the entire screen, I better catch him. Oh, come on, what a shame. I'm not using the Master Ball for this. Excellent again, I mean, it's very easy to throw an excellent. Come on. Yeah, we got him, we got Snorlax. How cool is that? You caught a Snorlax. Very awesome. So 857 experience, new Pokemon, excellent throw technique bonus. Not bad. So there we go, we get ourselves a new Pokemon for the Pokedex. It is the illustrious, the, the sleepy Snorlax and his data will be added to the Pokedex. We'll eat anything, even if the food happens to be a little moldy. It never gets an upset, upset stomach. It weighs, okay, for a second I thought it said 10,000 pounds. It weighs 1,000 pounds. It's six feet tall too, Wow, we. All right, you tuck Snorlax away in the Pokemon box in your bag. How cool is that? Oh my, Zebra, that was impressive. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers, as the Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, I'll see you later then. <laughs> I like how you had to say in that order, as if we were gonna try to catch it and then defeat it later. I think if we caught it, it'd be fine. <laughs> All right, sometimes Pokemon you come to sleep on this path and don't wake up for a long time when that happens. It's recommended that you could take another route around them. So this way should lead back to uh, another town we've already been to. 
but I'm not gonna worry about that. Instead, we're gonna go down this way and battle another whole host of different trainers. What's biting? You never know what you could catch. I guess we're about to find out after this battle. But hey, that went, that went really well. I'm very happy about it. We're going against Fisherman Andrew. And he's not Tentacool. That's pretty cool. We haven't seen Tentacool yet in this game, so that's very cool to see. Charlotte, let's show him who's boss. Okay, so no Petal Dance for this one. We really don't need it. We can just stick with Razor Leaf and destroy you. Even though much higher levels now, before we were under level 30 water type Pokemon, now it's all like upper 30s, level 36 for this Tentacool. So, might be a little bit more difficult heading forward, but I think we'll be able to handle it just fine with both uh, uh, Charlotte and Eve just being so dominant over water types. Fisherman Andrew's about to send out Kingler. Keep battling. I don't think we've seen Kingler yet. Right? Whoa, yeah, we haven't. Creepy, creepy. All right, so let's go ahead and do Razor Leaf. I really don't like crabs. <laughs> oh, did you dodge it? Oh, come on, ow. Oh, it's creepy and painful. Fight again. Razor Leaf, just get him out of here. Probably should've just done Petal Dance for more effectiveness. Oh, I really should've. Oh, I really, really should've. You're gonna use Slam. Uh, I don't like this. Oh my gosh! That was crazy. That was quite an effect. Okay, Razor Leaf one more time. This might even be enough to get us a, a level up for Charlotte. Super effective, very good. Kingler fainted. Should've just done Petal Dance. 596 experience, almost enough for a level up. Fisherman Andrew defeated, lost it. Over $1,000 that time. Good stuff. Okie doke, not bad. What, Magikarp? I can't, I catch them all the time, sure, but boy are they wimpy. Okay, well, ooh, we're out here now. What is this little building? Oh, hello. Uh, um, who in the world am I? Oh, he's the forgetful man. Well, oh, it's no use, I can't remember anything. Hmm, hi. Hmm, do you think you could tell me who I might be? Move the leader, Mr. Dazzling, I don't know. Ah, don't mind me, sorry to bother you with such an odd question. Move the leader, so like if I wanted you to delete a move, I guess you could, so oh, he makes it so that people forget moves, gotcha. What about Mr. Dazzling? <laughs> I'm Mr. Dazzling. That has such a wonderful ring to it, Mr. Dazzling. You might be right, I'm Mr. Dazzling. Well, you help me remember, so here. You got TM32, Dazzling Gleam. TM32 is for Dazzling Gleam. It's a fairy type move. Something that's hard to find in Kanto. Cool. Oh, so I can't tell you to be move deleter now. I guess I only get one chance at that. Weird. <laughs> Very cool, though. Okay, so we got TM32 which I might want to use at some point. Like having a fairy type moves definitely seems like it could be very helpful against certain types of Pokemon. If I go to my Pokemon box. No, 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 wrong thing. Uh, I need the TM case. I don't know why I thought the Pokemon box would be the right fit for that. But fairy type, the user damages a po opposing Pokemon by emitting a powerful flash. Not bad, actually. The only person who can learn it on our team right now, of course, is Lily. And let's just keep moving. Oh, we have a uh, Pokemaniac. Hey, do you know what Catch combos are, if you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one. Yep, we know about that. You guys let me know about it. Ooh, what's going this way? Ooh, he's hiding a, a Pokeball. It seems this tree can be chopped down, then you better bet that Eve is gonna chop it down. No tree left standing. As long as she's concerned. Electricity is my specialty, so I don't know a thing about Pokemon of the sea. Then you're sort of in the long stretch of town. <laughs> I mean, I guess you're actually in the right stretch of town because you'll be super effective against everybody in the sea. Never mind. Rock or Luca? Electabuzz. So I'm not really the best Pokemon for this. I mean, we could try it anyways. I don't know if that's a good idea because I don't think electric type is good against grass. So like, we should be able to make it work. Let's try Petal Dance. It's because we have six levels over you. Ooh, not bad. So you're gonna use Swift. Oh no, that might actually be enough to take Charlotte out. Not even close, never mind. Okay. And whoa, wait, what happened? Pedal Dance, Pedal Dance. And that's your only Pokemon, so we should be fine after that. And indeed we are. Well, you're still confused out, oddly enough. Okay, so Charlotte grew to level 43, which is awesome. Got a couple of extra stats there, which is always good to see as well. And your party Pokemon in waiting also got experience, nothing crazy there. Unplugged, a thousand dollars for winning, very cool. So let's see what that Pokeball has. It's a little bit more interesting to me, but I guess I'll also talk to you. Water conducts electricity, so you should zap Pokemon from the Z. I thought you said you didn't know. 
Okay. Oh, we got a water stone. I think this is actually our second one. Water stones are good to help evolve certain water type Pokemon. I am searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? I don't think so. I think we have a water and a fire stone. No moonstone yet. Okay, so we got Camper Justin going on here. It's not Nidoran. So we're not really the best for this because we're also a poison type. We'll see what ends up happening. So let's fight and we'll do Petal Dance again. We're running low on uses for Petal Dance. Let's see how much damage it does. Ooh, it's not very effective, but it's plenty effective enough. Destroy you. Okay, so what do we got beyond that? Another Nidoran maybe? Nidorino, okay, the evolution of Nidoran. But here it is, Nidorino. And we're just gonna do another Petal Dance. Don't have too much choice in the matter. Very good damage, though. And you didn't get uh, confused, which is very good. Horn attack is a little bit scary. Don't cry, don't cry. And Petal Dance one more time should plenty be enough to take out Nidorino. All right, well, see ya. So unfortunately, Charlotte's not really doing the best right now, but we'll do what we can to fix that. So we got 448 experience, and Camper Justin's defeated, ow! 702 Great Balls, not bad. Okay. I could have made my Pokemon evolve for the Moonstone. I would have had one then, I bet. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we found an Awakening. Very cool. That's always good for when our Pokemon fall asleep. So which way am I supposed to be going right now? Oh, there's another one of you. Before we take you on then, let me go to my bag, get a Medicine Pocket going on, and we will just use, no, 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 wrong thing. Let's just do, I mean, I, I think we should use two Super Potions. Got it, and got it, and that should be full. Indeed. So that is awesome. And we can talk to you. Training on a romantic bridge where you can smell the sea breeze doubles the effects of the training. Let's do some coaching, are you ready? Battle, yeah. Let, let a Pokemon battle begin, yo. <laughs> I like your style. Okay, so we're going against this coach trainer, Priya. Priya, Priya, I've never seen that name before. Is it not Butterfree? Which, uh, what we have isn't particularly good or, I mean, actually, Bug might be good against Grass, I don't know. I'm a little nervous, I think that might actually be the case. We're gonna switch out real fast, and a flying type would be good against Bug, so let's try something a little bit different, we'll switch over to Tonka, and we'll use his, uh, what was it, like, wing move or something? Not Tonka, Fred, sorry, that's what I meant. And, ooh, yeah, it's not gonna do too much damage, we're fine, not very effective flight, or not flight, fight, and then do wing attack. I was right, it was wing something. I was like, wing slice. It's weird, because he more so attacks him with his tail, not the wing. But there we go, Butterfree fainted. Super duper easy. And what are, what are you gonna send it out next? Level 47 for Lily, nice. Getting closer to level 50 already. Clefable. Ooh, I don't know. What What is good against Clefable? I don't really know. We're just gonna keep battling that. Just play it safe. Bring out Clefable. Oh, you are so cool. You're a much higher level. Let's just try wing attack again. Boom. It did okay. We're gonna use Sing. We avoided it, which is awesome. Let's try doing Dragon Rage and see how much more damage that does. Oh, uh, did you dodge it? I guess you did. Dragon Rage. Oh, it doesn't affect. Oh, okay. Um, we could try Ember. I probably want to switch Pokemon, but just, oh, I don't like doing that if I don't have to. It seems like, so Fred just keeps avoiding Sing over and over again, which is awesome. Fred is the best. Oh, so close. Okay, one more time. Just use a uh, wing attack. Good job. So we took you out without too much of an issue. Fred was the MVP of this battle. I love it. So level 42 for Tonka. Awesome to see. Eve grew to level 45. And we defeated Coach Trainer Priya. Fascinating. $3,900 for winning. Very cool. Okay, such a romantic battle here. A token of my gratitude. TM59 Dream Eater. Wow, what is that? TM59 holds the move Dream Eater. It only works on Pokemon that are asleep, but I assure you its effect is devastating. Wow, so if you have that with like a Jigglypuff or something like that, uh, you can make them fall asleep and then use that move and really tear them up. What is going on with this? Another little area over this way. We're about to find out. Chop down that tree and 
Oh, hey, we only have one of, wow, gosh. I really don't like this Pokemon, but we'll do what we can. He's gigantic too, which makes him extra creeper. It's a, it's a wild Kingler. Okay, so we'll just do an Ultra Ball. I think that'll be fine. Whoa, not a bad throw. I like it. All right, come on, can we just catch him first time so I just don't have to worry about it? Yes, we can. Wowie. All right, you caught a Kingler. I never want to see him again. Maybe he'll give a lot. 769 experience, really not that bad. Okay, so what are we doing now? We are uh, adding him to our Pokedex. One Claw grew massively in his heart of steel. It has 10,000 horsepower strength. However, it is too heavy. Wow, I don't like it. So uh, there is that done. And we also, oh, there's a Pokeball right here. I don't even know if we've, oh, come on. <laughs> it's a little awkward. We definitely have one of you. We have a Gloom, but we don't have, as I think the non-evolution of Kingler, we might not actually have that. Krabby. I don't think we have a Krabby. We might have one. We'll find out. There we go, very easy catch. Probably shouldn't be using Ultra Balls for this. Probably should just move back to Great. But that, we'll worry about that when we have to. 911 experience for that one is really good experience. Kobe gets a level up from it. So we're all marching towards level 50 now. I mean, some of them are closer than others, but they're all getting there, which is the most important thing. So there's another Gloom. I think our second one. So get the Pokeball. It's a max lore, very cool. So let's go ahead and get this Kingler as well. Not Kingler, Krabby, to just make extra sure that we, uh, I don't like it. Okay, so let's go to our bag real fast, because I don't need this, I need a Great Ball, which we actually have less Great Balls. Uh, whoop. A little off, but enough so that we could get him. Nice, okay, that worked. So first throw, get some decent stuff. Yeah, got another chunk of experience. So I think we've caught a Krabby before. I didn't read it, but we're about to find out, I guess. Actually, uh, no, okay, we haven't caught a Krabby before. Its pinches are superb weapons. They sometimes break off during battle, but they grow back fast. That's really, really creepy. Okay, well, there we go. We caught Krabby and Kingler. What a combo. I might wanna wait around here for just a couple more moments, see what else pops up. Seems like a nice little patch to catch some cool Pokemon. I don't really want the little Pidgey or another Krabby. Maybe I just got lucky with that Kingler. Shouldn't hold my breath too much around here. Uh, there's Gloom. I feel like it's easier to run into Pokemon with, while we're riding Fred. Oh, you bet it is. So we gotta deal with another Krabby. Okay, well this one's huge, which is n not a good thing. Boom, what a great throw though. Getting it at that angle is not easy. Come on. Ah, oh, you actually jumped out from that. I can't believe it. You know, it does make the world of Pokemon seem a whole lot more dangerous when they're actually like lunging at you. I mean, I guess they're sort of trying to knock away the Pokeball. They're not really trying to attack the trainer, but in a way it does sort of seem like they're trying to attack the trainer. <laughs> it just gets creepy. I mean, I understand that that's sort of like a lot of our real life. You know, if somebody tried to put me in a Pokeball, I wouldn't be very happy about it. But, I don't know, just as of being such a friendly little game. Okay, ooh, you wanna learn Slash. Slash is a normal type move though. The target is attacked with a Slash of Claws and Blades. Critical hits land more easily. I don't think I need that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pass. Sorry, Fred, but I want you to learn fire type moves, buddy. Fire type moves, a very cool one, I don't care. Just like make somebody explode with fiery -ness. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll wait for like a couple more moments, see if anything cool pops up, but at this point, yeah, it's not looking like it. I don't wanna move too much, because I sort of don't want to go too fast with Fred. Anyways, there's that done. And now we're on Route 13, I thought we already were. Let's battle you guys. I gave my Pokemon a quick candy. I, I did that last episode. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we're going against Camper Nash. He's sitting on the Sand Shrew. So sure, it's not gonna be too good against this, as far as I understand, as far as I remember. We'll just try Pedal of Dance and see what ends up happening. I'm pretty sure though this won't be very effective. I might be wrong though. It is super effective. Okay, I got, I'm getting something wrong there. I need to find out what type Sand Shrew is, eventually. <laughs> All right, 221 experience, almost a level up for her. So now it's Sand Slash again, so let's just keep at it because it's gonna force us to do a pedal dance anyways. So we might as well, right? Okay. So actually, this is the evolution. But that's fine with me, we made it work. So you're gonna faint. Awesome. <laughs> and we're confused, but the battle's over, so it doesn't matter. I really do appreciate that that kind of stuff doesn't 
come out of battles, because that's how old Pokemon, you know, games work, or older Pokemon games, is that if you're poisoned or something, that's gonna travel with you after you leave the battle. You're still gonna take poison damage. Char wants to move the le learn the move Growth. Forget an old move. What type of move is Growth? It's a normal type move. The user's body grows all at once, raising the attack and special attack stats. Don't know if that's necessary, but I mean, I think I'm gonna take a pass, yeah. Uh, keep old moves. I mean, I do want to put something over Leech Life eventually, but not now. Oh, too bad, I just messed up. Well, there we go, two great balls for that one. Okay, so what else do you have to say? If you give a candy to your Pokemon, it can increase your Pokemon's stats such as speed. Indeed it can. I'm told I'm good for a kid. Well, I'm pretty good too, so we'll find out who's best. So we're going against uh, Picnicker Susie, and she has two Pokemon as well. Got Jigglypuff, and probably the evolution of that Jigglytuff, seeing how the other guy had Sandshrew and Zanslash. We'll find out. So I think we'll be fine with Petal Dance again. I don't know if it'll be a one-hit takedown against a Pokemon like this, but we might as well try. Nice. Very good damage. 199 experience for that one, and... Weeping Bell. You know what, let's switch Pokemon for Weeping Bell because Weeping Bell is a, a grass type just like Charlotte is, so it might be easier to do something like Fred and just use some fire type moves. That could be good. Let's hope so. Come on, Fred, I know you can do it. So let's give this a try. Fight and Ember. I don't really like Fire Spin too much. Like it can be good for like maybe a longer battle later in the game. But for right now, now I thought like I know I can just one hit these guys. I might as well use Ember. It's, it's sort of easier. Okay, so there we go. Really not too much going on with that one. Picnic or Suity is taken down. We got seven hundred forty dollars for winning and two great balls. The the Poke balls are really the most important thing. The money, like I'm really sort of over it because we have so much of it. I want to become a good trainer. I'll train hard. Just watch. I know we have a lot more money left to spend. Lots of Pokemon over there, but none that I haven't caught. Ooh, this whole area is a little confusing. It's like a maze. Okay, what does this say? Route 13, north to Silence Bridge. Silence Bridge, huh? Don't know what that is. Okay, so what is this? Sure, I'll play with you, sweetie. Uh, okay. What's battle? So this is Beauty Lola. <laughs> She's not Chansey. Okay, Charlotte should do fine against Chansey, and it's her only Pokemon as well, so we should be able to handle it. I can only hope. So uh, let's fight, and Petal Dance. We're actually running low on Petal Dance, so we might wanna do something about that soon. Maybe we could just go back to using Razor Leaf. Actually, that did not do much. Okay, that's a little concerning, but not too much you can do about it now. We just gotta keep going forward. That's good. Ooh, almost done. And we, oh, minimize. That should make it so that you dodge a little bit more easily, I think. Evasiveness, yeah. But if we can land our last, ah, oh, you avoided it, and now we're confused, that's a pain. Okay, so we were still able to avoid something. I mean, we still have the chance to land at an attack, even if we don't have, I mean, even if we have confusion, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case here, we hurt ourselves in confusion. Okay, you're just gonna get harder and harder to hit, which is tough, because we're already confused. Fight, and Razor Leaf. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Dang. Oh no, Chansey, okay, that actually went through, but Chansey avoided the attack. Maybe I should use another ra Razor Leaf? Or maybe I should do, uh, let's just try Razor Leaf one more time. Snapped out of the confusion, but you keep avoiding, because now you're really evasive, which is sort of a bit of a risk. Come on, come on, come on. How can I possibly hit you now? Are you too evasive? I mean, the chance has got to be on my side eventually. There we go, okay. Is that enough to take you down? It is, thank goodness, that was tough. Tougher battle than I thought it would be. Smart trainer right there. Over a thousand experience for it too. When defeated Beauty Lola, you're strong. Yeah, well that was good, thank you. Okay, well. I wonder which are stronger, male or female Pokemon? I think it just matters on which one trains the hardest. Trainer tips, sort of, sort the items in your bag using the Y button. You can filter your TMs too. It's really handy, yep, we've done it in the past. Okay, so now that we've done that, we wanna go ahead and chop down this tree, perfect. And talk to you. 
So you're another uh, coach trainer? Have a battle with me in this hidden place. Let's find out what his name is. It is Ace Trainer Kite. I always get the coaches and the Ace Trainers mixed up. And he's in a Graveler, which actually is not a good combo with what I currently have, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm getting it mixed up, which I'm almost positive I'm not. We could try it and just sort of find out. <laughs> Let's just find out. Razor Leaf, uh... Ooh, no! Super effective. Okay, I got that mixed up. Never mind. Can you Sand Attack, which I am A-OK -okay with. Okay, oh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and just do Leech Seed for the tiny little bit of health you have left. You avoided it, come on! And you're gonna do Earthquake. That's gonna be a bit of a pain. Oh, poor Charlotte. There's a lot of damage. Ugh, Earthquake is a tough move to do anything against. We'll just do, we'll just do this. Razor Leaf, and gotcha. See ya. So there we have it, Growler fainted. And uh, do you have any other Pokemon? I think he does. Yes, I have at least one more. Magneton. Okay, we're gonna switch Pokemon. I'm just gonna do Lily, do Dig, because I really don't remember what else Steel is weak to. I'll have to find out soon enough. Okay, go on, Lily, you can do it. So it's Magneton, which really shouldn't be that bad if we just do this. We almost, yeah, we have eight levels over uh, this Pokemon. So we're not really at too much of a risk right now. And we haven't seen Lily throughout most of today's episode, so I think it's fine to see her in one battle, right? I know that we've seen her a lot recently, but hey, that's just because she's so great. Boom, one hit takedown, really nice. Okay, so with that done, I'm gonna send out Haunter. You know what, let's keep battling. It just, it's just easier to, it's always easier to. And just do Psychic. No, wait, no, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Oh, wow, it'll work, but that's, I wanted to switch to Psychic so we can change, you know, save ourselves a turn's worth of time. But I suppose it's not happening. But this should be a one-hit takedown. We have a seven-level lead on you, and indeed it does. Super effective, very good, Haunter fainted. And along with that, 568 experience, almost at level 48, and we'd be defeated East Trainer Kite. Uh, I lost, but was no one was watching us, right? I would hope not, I and mean, we're in a secret area. Five Ultra Balls, very good. Okay. Recently I was a coach, but I realized that being an ace trainer was best. Okay, so he was a coach. I mean, that's why I got it mixed up. Is there a Pokeball over here? There is. No, wait, 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 don't run at me. Oh, come on, okay. Well, luckily, it's not that big of a deal. Pidgey, if you want to be caught, I'm gonna catch you. It was a great throw. That should be a catch. Let's find out. Oh, wow, you have some fight in you. You're level 37. Wow, yeah, they got really high level. <laughs> All of a sudden, we got some really high level Pidgeys. Okay, and boom. All right, you caught a Pidgey. Super duper awesome. So 224 experience and two quick candies and two quick candy L's. And that's almost a level for Lily, but it is a level up for Tonka. Tonka to level 43. Nice to see. And we're just gonna put Pidgey in our Pokemon box. No! <laughs> okay, one at a time. Single file line. Let's take on Gloom. Okay, Gloom's a little bit more of a tough Pokemon to catch, it seems. Now. Oh, that was not what I wanted. We're gonna do a little spin again. And then, now. Much better, that's an excellent throw. Come on. Ah, he got out of there. So close, you almost got it. And I'm sure gonna spin again, but I wanted to at least get one extra throw in there. And got it, very good. All right, you called Gloom. Cause this is a great ball, not an ultra ball. 2000 experience? Oh my gosh, I gotta read that more often. That was a level up for like everybody. Charles grew to level 45. Lily grew to level 48. Fred grew to level 44. Kobe grew to level 42. And then finally, Eve grew to level 46. I gotta just like catch every large and small Pokemon ever because apparently they just give, because he was an extra large at three feet tall. Okay, well, how awesome is that? And let's get the Pokeball as well. A PP up, very good to see. And anybody else around here, there's just another Krabby that I just do not want to deal with. Oh, we got you over here. Hello, sir. 
I always go with bird Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. So we actually might, is grass good against flying? I'm pretty sure it's not, but we'll try it. Really experiment a little bit here. It is Bird Keeper Robert. So not Doduo. Oh, cool, we haven't seen Doduo in a battle yet. We saw Doduo in somebody's house at some point in one of the cities. But we've not battled one yet. They're so adorable. So I don't think they're technically flying types. I mean, they might be, I'm not really sure. They don't have wings out. Uh, not, yeah, not very effective. They're gonna use Drill Pack, which, oh, that's gonna take Charlotte out. I'm so sorry. That was like 110% my fault. I failed you. All right, we're just gonna switch over to Eve and show these Show these birds what we really mean. Okay, Eve, you got it. And we're gonna do fight, and then just, you know, let's just do Zippy Zap to make sure that they don't attack first. It should definitely be enough to take them down. More than enough, really. All right, super effective, I knew you could do it. Critical hit, nice stuff. And, uh... Bird Keeper Rod, okay, Pidgeotto we can handle. So I gotta remember, you know, I, I always forget to do that. I need to sort of set up my team depending on what kind of uh, person we're going against. Like if I see a gym, not a gym leader, what am I talking about? A trainer that has the bird type get up, I know that they're gonna have bird type Pokemon, so I just need to put Eve out in front. And same thing if I know they have water types, I need to put Charlotte or Eve out in front or something like that, you know? Just gotta keep that in mind. 475 experience, very good. And Bird Keeper Robert's taken down out of power. Nice, okay, 2,000 more dollars from him. And what does he have to say? I wish I could fly like Pidgey and Pidgeotto. Well, I mean, if you train them up enough, maybe you can ride them. Oh, hey, um, before we do anything else, maybe I should use a revive. Go to our bag, go to medicine pocket, revive Charlotte, just like that. Then we'll heal her up a little. I mean, she's up to halfway, that'll be fine for now. And what about you? I'm not going to lose, not with the wind blowing my way. Okay, let's find out together. Will that be the case? Okay, so Camper Perry has Growlithe. Okay, so we definitely want to switch out Pokemon as soon as possible, because that's Fire versus Grouse, which is definitely more on the side of Growlithe. Level 37 too, it's not a low level Pokemon. Switch over then to Tonka. That's gonna be our best bet for right now. Come back, Charlotte, and let's go, Tonka. And we'll just do Bubble Beam. I really wanna learn some cooler moves for Tonka. I just feel like he deserves it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think that was gonna be very effective, or I don't know, I don't really do too much, yeah. Okay, Bubble Beam. And one hit takedown. Super effective, very beautiful. What else do we got going on? 700, or 258, not seven. That would have been nice. Nidorino. I'm going to switch Pokemon then. And we're going to switch to Lily. And we'll just do Psychic. It's my best bet against Poison. Okay. Go on, Lily, I know you can do it. See, this should be fine. Nidorino has some huge ears. They must be able to hear a lot. Hoo wee, nice stuff, it's super effective. And that is the Camper Perry taken out. Very nice to see. And we defeated Camper Perry, the wind turned. <laughs> oh, I get it, because he was saying the wind was on his side. I'm beat, I guess I'll go home. Wait, no, no, you're blocking off the Pokeball. Okay, I'm definitely like skipping out on a lot. I mean, I'll try to get whatever I can. But it's sort of a bit of a maze, so it's sort of tough to get everything right away. But for right now, I'm going to, actually, you know what one thing I wanna do? I've had Charizard out for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out Blastoise, Tonka, because I don't think we've ever had him following us to get a Pokeball. There we go. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, he can fit too. Look at him, he's so cool. All right, we found a full heal that was worth running around for. I still can't fit in between you. You think he would just be courteous and move, seeing how he's going home anyways, but no. Okay, so let's go back down Route 14. And... Talk to you. Hello. You get my TMs at the Seldon department store, too. Have you used TMs? Oh yeah, I've used them plenty. Okay, so let's see what this camper has in store for us. He is camper back. And he has one Pokemon, it's Flareon. 
So if we actually switch back over to Blastoise, that'd be perfect. Charlotte's still not a good mix with this. Flareon looks so stinking cool. All of the evolutions look really cool in this game. Go to Pokemon and go to Tonka. Just had you out a moment ago, have, gonna have you out again. Like that's gonna be something that's gonna be tough for me to do because I still have yet to catch a single Eevee. I need to catch four of them, right? Well, I need to catch one to keep as a normal Eevee, another one to keep as a, you know, Flareon, Jolteon, and uh, Umbreon, right? Maybe not. That's, I think that might be a different one. Uh, Vaporeon, is that it? It's something like that. I don't remember. Uh, so that was a critical hit. I probably should've done Bubble Beam, that would've been better. But I might as well just do Bubble again. Ow, stop it. Ow. Well, we're burned as well. Yeah, the fire spin, duh. Okay, Water Gun. See ya. There we go, that was a little bit too much effort for that. <laughs> All right, 680 experience, not bad. Oh, you're feeding camper back, oh, bummer. We get some more Pokeballs for it, which is always good. And what do you have to say now? Try teaching Pokemon a move that, that's the same type as it. That apparently boosts the power of the move, yep. And that's called same type attack bonus. So there's, there's this dude looking a little menacing. What are you looking at? Uh, maybe I was looking at the cool embroiderment on the back of your, your vest. It looked like some kind of like, oh, I think it was Dodrio. Punk Guy Jared. So now Golbat. Okay. I mean, I don't think what we're using would be all that bad against Golbat. I am yawning so much, I apologize. Unprofessional of me. Let's do Petal Dance. We have two more Petal Dance uses left. Might as well try to use it against Golbat. Was that worth our while? It's not very effective. <laughs> it was, okay. I'm so sorry. Should I just switch over to Pikachu real fast? I mean, I can't. We were forced to use Petal Dance for a little bit. Are you confused? Not quite yet. You can use Leech Life, which will, ow. Will be a bit more painful than I had expected. It was a pretty cool effect down. So it looks like Shard's gonna use Petal Dance one last time, because it's two to three times, so there's no way it's gonna be another one. Yep, there you go. Use you to fatigue, use Crunch again. Please not be enough to take out Charlotte. Oh no, 10 health. I definitely need to do something about this, because I think I need to just move Eve in front of Charlotte again. Pokemon, go to, I mean, we could just do something else for now, just to get rid of Golbat. Let's try, let's try Kobe. Kobe hasn't had too much action recently. I mean, fighting type just seems to be a very niche type of Pokemon. It only is useful on certain occasions. Okay. That doesn't hurt very much at all. Not very effective. And we are going to fight. And I think we're just, oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the yawning. Low kicking somebody who's flying. Doesn't sound like a good idea, but it worked. It's not very effective though. I mean, yeah, I guess fighting isn't good against I don't know why I'm so bad at Pokemon types. We're, we're not really effective against each other, but you keep healing yourself, so you know what? Switch to Eve. I should've made this all, made this easier for myself. I don't know why I'm so adamant about not doing that, but I am, for one reason or another. Okay, so just a little more hang in there, Eve. He's so excited, it's wonderful. Okay. Got it. I'm going to... Fight and Thunder. I mean, that was probably overdoing it. Probably could have just done Thunderbolt. It would have been fine. Oh well, feel the full strength of the Thunder. There we go. That was your only Pokemon. That took way too much effort. But hey, props to you. All right, 600 experience. Everybody else is gonna get some good experience as well. We beat Punk Eye Jared. Oh man, stripped gears. All right, well, not bad. So what else do you have to say? Get lost. All right, see ya. We're gonna go ahead and do Eve. Move Pokemon back out in front. It's just sort of the best case scenario. So uh, obviously we missed a good couple of trainers. I wasn't trying to avoid them as much as I was just trying to find my best path throughout everything. I didn't do a very good job. Have I read this? I think I have. Route 13 north of Silence Bridge. Yeah, so I don't know where Silence Bridge is, but apparently, I mean, I know where it is, it's south of here, but I don't know what it is. Wow, your badges are too cool. Thank you, we have five of them now. Okay, so for this one, we're challenged by Bug Catcher Milo. And he's done on Scyther. Okay, Scyther's a bug type. 
I don't know if lightning is going to be particularly good against it, but it's not going to be particularly bad either. And obviously we would want it flying, so we have the opportunity. And I, I should have known you were a bug catcher type guy. But no, I never think about it. All right, we'll just zippy zap him. Get him out of here. One hit takedown no matter what. It's super effective. Okay. Oh, because you're a flying bug type. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, so 603 experience, and then now you're gonna send out Pinsir, which is another bug type. So I will switch it to, actually no. I mean, I coulda, but I'm just gonna use uh, Floaty Fall. Oh, you are creepy in this game. You're a little more gray than I thought. I thought you would be a more brownish color. Like you're a brownish gray. Wait, did you dodge that? Ow, that hurt. I didn't see what that said. Floaty Fall, you use Floaty Fall. Okay, that was the last time you avoided it. Okay, and whoa, not bad. It's super effective indeed. I like it. So there is that done. And that means we got 630 experience. And Tucker level 44, I am so proud. Okay, so, should no, oh wait, for protect? Let's take a look at protect. I don't think I need protect, especially since we still have withdrawal. Enables the user to protect itself from all attacks. Its chance of failing rises if it's used in succession. No, I don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep all moves. Yeah. All right, then we we defeated Bugcatcher Milo. Not enough. Cool to see. Okay, so there's another trainer done. We got those badges from gym leaders. I know. So I think we'll be fine keeping things how they are. I'm just gonna keep battling more trainers. Do you wanna battle some Pokemon with me? I would love to. We're battling everybody in this route. <laughs> Every single one of them. Okay, so this is Beauty Sheila. So now Eevee. Oh, cool. We're still trying to get our own Eevee. This is one out of two Pokemon for you. So it's Pikachu versus Eevee. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do Thunder. Just get the most powerful move out there as soon as possible. Don't want to dilly dally anymore. I just want to be able to take out trainers as fast as I can. Which, you know, that's sort of my best bet for that situation. And that worked out really well. Definitely getting less experience, I feel. Persian. I think we can keep battling and basically do the same thing. Because with Persian and Eevee are both like what? Normal types? I don't know if we have anything particularly good against either of those. Let's just try Thunder again. And hope it's a one hit takedown like before. Pretty please. You bet. How wonderful. Okay, so there's both of our Pokemon taken down in one hit. I love it. And we're so close to another level up for Eve. It's over already? Yeah, that was actually really quick. Which is exactly what I was trying for, so perfect. I don't know anything about Pokemon, actually. I picked the ones I use for their looks. Well, then that's probably why you lost a battle. But hey, as long as you're having fun and your Pokemon are happy, I don't care. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance. Well, I, would, I, I wish to make their acquaintance. In, in the art of battle. Okay, Picnic Group Gwen. Now, Raticate, okay. We should be able to handle Raticate. You know, personally, I mean, like, I wouldn't consider Raticate all too cute. I do trust your judgment and appreciate it. It's just not my judgment. I think we can do Zippy Zap and be fine with this one. Let's hope. Boom. Oh, almost. Aren't we like a whole 10 levels higher? Oh, it failed. Okay, we're nine levels higher. Let's just go ahead and do Thunderbolt. Like the most accessible move. Wait, oh no, ooh. Sucker Punch is faster than Thunderbolt. Okay, we're good. And that might be, depending on the experience we get through. Yep, that's enough for level 47. So now we're 10 levels higher than that Raticate. Feels good. Okay, so we get an extra little bit of stats for that, which is nice, and Golduck. Ooh, then we definitely want to keep with what we got. We'll just do Zippy Zap, take it down super fast. Oh yeah, Golduck is the evolution of Psyduck. Super cool, we haven't seen a Golduck yet. Let's try this, come on. Boom, and that should definitely be a one hit takedown because it's a water psychic, I think. Pretty cool combo. Okay, so there we go. Golduck, for the first time seeing him, taking him down, 647 experience, and we beat Picnic or Gwen. Good going, you totally won. Well. At least she's a good sport about it. You have to make Pokemon battle to toughen them up. Yep, and that's what we've been doing all series long. So it looks like that's actually everybody so far from right to left. I mean, that's not everybody on the route, but we're getting closer and closer to that being a reality. 
I think. Maybe maybe that is everybody on the route. There's nothing over this way. There is one camper over that way we may have not taken on, because I think this punk guy, who's just mean for no reason, but has a cool jacket, was the farthest left we went. We're about to find out in a moment. Go down this way. And the bug catcher kid was right here. No, he's not a bug catcher, he's just a camper. Okay, can I, oh. Sometimes this is move the, hard to move the singular joystick on the Joy-Con. Uh, try teaching Pokemon a move that's, okay, no, we I actually did battle you. I'm just very forgetful. But we do have you. I definitely haven't battled you. You need TMs to, uh, to use, or TMs to teach good moves to your Pokemon if you want to make them strong. Well, we've been doing that, even though I probably need more TMs soon enough. Okay, so it is Camper Carter. Is it not Psyduck? Oh, perfect. Eve is in a perfect position to take you down. We were just talking about Psyduck and Golduck and everything. Well, now we have you to take on. Thunderbolt actually probably should be fine against you, I'd have to imagine. If it's a 10 level difference, it is perfect. So what is your next Pokemon? Uh, Doug Trio, then I'm definitely switching Pokemon. And I think I'll just switch over, I would love to switch to Tonka, but he's so low on health. We'll try it, we'll try it. We'll try Bubble Beam with Tonka. It should be good, but we'll have to wait and see. Run, Eve, run. And let's try it. Doug Trio is the evolution of uh, Diglett, so it might be a bit of a challenge, but we have a full seven levels above them. Bubble Beam, let's try it. Ooh, let's just try it. Hope they don't do anything like ridiculously damaging. Like, okay, never mind. <laughs> like Earthquake. If they did Earthquake, that could have taken out uh, Tonka. Just because it's like Earthquake just does so much damage. 551 experience, very good. And there we go. Not good enough quite yet. Keep training, you'll get there. Keep using those TMs. Okay, well we defeated you. Your Pokemon can use its secret techniques. That's amazing. Unlike with moves, it will never forget them. That's good to know. I, I, would, I would hate to be stuck in the game because we forgot a t secret technique. Route 14 west to Fuchsia City. So yeah, uh, Fuchsia City is, yeah, okay, heading west. Got you. I thought that was saying that west to Fuchsia City, so like if you were to stand in Fuchsia City, you'd have to go west, but that's actually the opposite. It's saying you gotta head west to Fuchsia, Fuchsia City. So going south, we should eventually run into that silent bridge. Oh, hey! It's a trainer, and perfectly enough, it's a bird catcher Pokemon trainer. I'm not into it, but okay, let's go. Then what, okay, if you aren't into it, you don't have to challenge me to a battle. I would've been totally fine walking past you. Challenged by Bird Keeper Benny. Pidgeotto. So we should be able to take you down really easy. Maybe I'll just use Zippy's out for the convenience of it. You are a little bit of a higher level than we're used to. Getting closer to level 40s now. Crazy stuff. Go for it, boom, gotcha. Okay, so critical hit with that one. And what is your other Pokemon? Probably a bird type, Fearo. Ooh, we caught a Fearo. Haven't used it, <laughs> probably won't, but it's so cool. Okay, so uh, just go ahead and do Zippy Zap again. Just It just confirms that we get the first move which is so reliable. That's the only re real reason. Like, I, I love using it more than I like using Thunder just because of that fact. If I had like a big, strong Pokemon I just really needed to guarantee a takedown with right away, I would use Thunder. But if I just want to hit first so I don't have to deal with them doing any unnecessary damage, Zippy Zap is definitely the way to go. There we go, take down Benny, I knew it. Well, then maybe that's why you lost is because you never believed in yourself from the beginning. Winning, losing, it's insignificant under this huge sky. Well, I guess that's a good idea, or a good mentality. All right, you found a Hyper Potion. Okay, so what else do we have going on over here before we cut down that tree? The tree actually, oh, it's sort of just a bit of a shortcut. We have like this whole thing going on over there. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you. Well, I didn't see that he was looking at me. Have you heard the legend of the winged mirages? Oh, I think he means the three legendary birds. So I, I guess I sort of have heard of that the, the legend. Bird Keeper Donald. All right, Donald, you're gonna send out Firo. We just took down a Firo, so this really shouldn't be that bad. And uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Fight, and Zippy Zap. So we still have a ton of trainers to go. Like, we are still in the middle of everything, really. <laughs> it's taking a lot of work to get through this route, a lot more than I had expected. 
Okay, so a critical hit, opposing Firo fainted. That's pretty good. And uh, Pokemon in waiting. Also got experience. Give us an Alpidgeot. I'm gonna keep battling. Bird Keeper Donald, send Alpidgeot. Cool. So Pidgeot's the third evolution, the Pokemon we still have yet to cut, catch. Well, let's do Thunderbolt for this one. I have a feeling it might be a good idea, but use Quick Attack. See, that's what I'm usually trying to avoid. It's just, you seem like you might be tough, so I wanna use that Thunderbolt and just really get rid of you as soon as possible. Ooh, well worth it. Ooh, landed a critical hit. I mean, we didn't really need it to be a critical hit, but great. Okay, ooh, Lily to level 49, almost at 50. That's so exciting. Why, why did I lose? It happens, man, don't worry. Well, the winged mirages are the legendary bird Pokemon. There are three of them, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Yep, I was right, cool. Anything in this bush? Not looking like it. So, we do have a lot more trainers to take on, and if I take a look at my bag, you can see for yourself on our town map, we still have a bit of traveling to go. I mean, we're right here, and then we gotta go all the way to Fusion City. I will try my best, might be a bit of a longer episode, but I'll try to get all the way to Fusion City, and that's probably where we'll end it, and then try to get the Fusion City through the other pathway after that. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a shot. Let's keep moving. What about you? Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. See, so yeah, these are all like biker guys we gotta take on to get to the Pokeball at the very end, but it'll be well worth it. Punk Guy Harvey. So not eradicate. Okay, Raticate's fine. We'll just zippy zap or something. Don't be worried because, you know, we are sort of starting to run out of energy with that kind of stuff. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and fight. And we'll just do Floaty Fall, actually. Let's see how much damage that will do. Oh, we're gonna Sucker Punch first. It's the only problem. Oh, boy. Oh, this will be good. Come on, you got it! <laughs> so intense! Oh, but not enough to take you down. I need to do zippy zap then so that we can attack first. Come on, come on. Good job, and see ya. Okay, so there's that done. And who are we going against next? Because I might end up changing Pokemon. It's gonna be Raticate again. I'm going to switch then, and just switch to somebody who has health, you know? Fred, Lily, let's do Fred. Fred would be fun. But yeah, a lot of this battling, all this training is definitely helping us with experience, which is good to know. Honestly, battling-wise, this game is more difficult than I thought it would be. A lot of people complain this game is gonna be too easy, but honestly, I found that the difficulty so far hasn't been that bad. I mean, I know I did that one trainer battle sort of out of order, and maybe that has sort of helped me see the difficulty differently, but I really think it's been quite the challenge so far. Like, if I just like was not paying attention and just like not caring, I would get my butt kicked. So I think that, you know, it really isn't that bad. Ooh, almost got you. We can use Crunch. I don't appreciate so much. I'm just gonna do another Ember to finish you off. Should be good. Boom. And see ya. So there is this dude done. We got plenty more of these punk trainers to get through though. And Charles could level 46, very good. I think I do need to sit down and use some potions, heal up our Pokemon. We got $1,000 for winning and three Pokeballs. And what do you gotta say for that? What, what, what? What do you want still? I wanna see how you're doing. Hope you're having a good day. Okay, so let's go to our medicine pocket. And can I sort these by type? There we go, much better. Uh, we're just gonna use our, I mean, I could use just a couple of these. Definitely for like Fred. Then use another one on Fred. Oh, perfect, 20 points. We only have one HP down then. Guess I'll do another one. Probably not as effective. And then I can do a couple of super potions, like I can do one. I could actually get away with using a Hyper Potion on some of these guys. All right, so there we go. Everybody is just about healed up, or at least as much as I need for right now. Let's keep moving, because we got ourselves another Punk Battle or Trainer, because we got two more after this guy. Pokemon Battle, cool rumble. That's a pretty cool, like, they all have pretty cool Mohawks. And this is a Punk Guy Malik. I think it's Malik, not Malik. Rhyhorn, ooh, this actually might not be good. Might have to change this. I don't remember. Let's just change it, let's just be safe. Um, I'm gonna change to Tonka. I think Tonka would be good. All right, well, we'll find out. Will Tonka be able to handle the Rhyhorn? He's Drill Run, oh gosh, oh gosh, it's scary. This animation always freaks me out because it can, it's sort of similar to the animation that I'll like one hit you. Bubble Beam, let's see how much damage this does. Hopefully a good amount. 
Ooh, not bad one hit takedown, super effective. Because that was a level 38 Rhyhorn, and this is a level 44 Tonka. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and that's the only Pokemon you had. Blown away! Thousand dollars for one in that one. Nice. You're so stressed out. You know you who'd win, you and me one on one. I, yeah, because our character's like 11, you're an adult. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? We, we come gather out here because of the wide open spaces. I think that in the original game, these guys were on like motorcycles or something. That might not be the case, I don't remember. You were challenged by punk guy Gerald. Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. He's not Magmar. Ooh, I should switch back over to Blastoise. I mean, I could just try this really quickly. I mean, like, there's no like type advantages for either of us right now, so we could just try this and just do like Thunder. See how quickly we can just take you down. Because we have a nine level advantage. Should be enough that the, just the pure amount of damage of it almost took you out all the way. Fire Punch. Hurts a little bit, but it's fine. Fight, and Thunderbolt. And that should be it. Gotcha. Good job. Magmar's another weird, like, Electabuzz and Magmar are both sort of just like weird in the same ways to me. I don't know what it is. They're both just very odd. Fred, good level 45, that's a great level to get. Good job, Fred. Wipe out. Okay, so there's another trainer down, which means we only have one more punk to go through. And then some other biker dude. It's cool you made your Pokemon so strong. Might is right, and you know it. See, this guy's actually nice. <laughs> One of the few. I need to burn some time. Shut up in battle. See, this is what I mean. This guy is not very nice. He's rude. Okay, so this is Punk Guy Felix. So not wheezing. Which, this might not be a good combo. We'll try it. I mean, it's his only Pokemon. So if we tr if, if this works, then great. We'll just do Zippy Zap. So we can attack first. Ooh, yeah, that's not very effective, is it? Oh, well, it didn't say it wasn't very effective, so I don't know if it is or not. Oh, but the poison. The poison, yep, we're definitely poisoned now. Badly poisoned, I think it said. Or maybe it was Eve was poisoned, I don't really know. Fight again, just do another Zippy Zap. That took out about half its health, so this should take out the other half. Come on. Oh, but it didn't, gosh darn it. He's toxic. Come on, I've been poisoned enough, don't you think? Jeez. Not doing, that didn't do any damage. Okay, there we go. Didn't really do very much, though. Okay, fight, and then we'll just do a quick, easy Thunderbolt, because I don't want to use Zippy Zap where I don't have to. I only have three more uses of it left before I have to restore it or something. Okay, Weezing is down. Very nice. And uh, that means we can move on over to the final trainer in this little corridor, because you are done. All right, well, all the punk guys have been defeated, finally, that's wonderful. Raising Pokemon is a drag, man, then don't do it. Hi. I leveled up my Pokemon, but it won't evolve, why? Oh, probably it's a Pokemon that needs a evolution stone, like the water stone or the fire stone we found earlier. Uh, we found the raw water stone earlier, we didn't find a fire stone earlier. Roughneck Zeke. Machoke. I don't know if Machoke needs a, a stone, though. I mean, maybe. I don't know what choke needs to evolve into a Machamp. Anyways, is flying good against fighting or vice versa? I don't remember, so we're gonna use thunder. Come on. Let's give this a shot. Okay, that was easy enough. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, Eve landed a critical hit there, though, which is awesome, because it's already powerful enough, but the critical makes it even better. Very nice, and Eve's gonna love up as well. I'm so proud. Oh, the poison did carry over this time. Weird. Okay, level 48. And there we go, we defeated Zeke. Why you? Okay, Mr. Roughneck. I don't know what your problem is, but we defeated you fair and square. Maybe some Pokemon need certain stones to evolve. Yep, it's true. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this. This is a nugget, cool. And we'll wait around for a second, see if there's any new Pokemon we might be able to gather from this patch of grass. <gasps> whoa, whoa, what is it? that even? Oh, you know what, I think I know what this is. It's the Butterfree, or the evolution, of, it's the evolution of Venomat, yeah, Venomoth. Oh man, you are creepy in this game. I missed ya. We'll try this out, this probably isn't gonna work. Yep, I might have to get a Ultra Ball instead. We'll try one more with this. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't risk it because I don't want you to run away if we haven't caught you yet. So let's just do Ultra Ball. I have 43 of them. I have more of these than I have the Great Balls. Excellent throw as well, so this might be a good one. Come on. 
And, oh, come on. So close to catching it too. No, come on. Gave me no time there. Well, we do have a Venonat, so if we need to evolve that into a Venomoth, we will. What other Pokemon do we got? We got an Oddish. Not too interested in the Oddish, gotta be honest. Oh, and I ran into another Oddish. <laughs> okay, okay. Might as well go through with it. I just need to use like a normal Pokeball though. Use item, ready, now. Oh, way too, way too late. Come on, just wanted to catch something new here. Now, now I'm stuck trying to catch an Oddish. Now, what? <laughs> what was that? Now, yeah, that was an excellent throw. Come on, just catch him, just catch him. Oh, please. Come on, like Pokeballs just don't work anymore. They're not very worthwhile. What are you doing? You're doing like a little head bash. Okay, that was a great throw. Please let it work this time. If not, I might just run away, because I, I do want to spend my time better than this. Okay, we got you. All right, you caught an Oddish. Very exciting. All right, well, we got 216 experience for it. Not too bad. And I know, I know. Sometimes I wish you can just skip that part. Okay, not too exciting is the Pidgey. Stop following me, leave me alone. No, 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 I don't. Oh, come on, the big big guy was in the way. Ah, he doesn't, he's totally oblivious to it too. Get this, that was only a great, I thought that was an excellent, apparently not. I wanna find new Pokemon. Jeez Louise, luckily first throw, that was pretty good. Might get some good experience out of that one then. Uh, not really. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna try for an extra couple seconds to find a new Pokemon. If we can't find that Venomoth, then I probably will just leave. Come on. What do you got for me? Something, right? Okay, that's a Pidgeot, or Pidgeotto. Come on. Something cool, something new. I know you got it for me. You've already shown it to me, and I tried to catch it, it didn't work out. Isn't that the first time we show up to a new patch of grass, something rare pops up right away? Then I always miss it out, miss out on it. Another Oddish. Okay, so I think I'm about to peace out of here. Yep, okay, nothing new's popping up. Oh well, we tried, but we got you know some good stuff out of that. We got some good training going on. We got something with the Pokeball, I forget what it was. But hey, how about you with my favorite Pokemon that I traded with my friends? So this should be another Ace Trainer because I think the coaches have green jackets. That's the difference. Okay, so yep, it's Ace Tra Trainer Kindra. But beyond the jacket color, they're the same person, or same character. Vaporeon! So yeah, it is Vaporeon. Not Umbreon, I think that's something from like a later Pokemon game. You have such a cool tail. Fight, and we're just gonna do Zippy Zap, I think. I think we're getting closer and closer, so. Come on. So you have three Pokemon, you're gonna be, whoa, that wasn't enough, really? Ugh, that stinks. Critical hit, but still not enough. You're gonna use Surf, ah, oh, that's just unnecessary. Whoa, I have a lot of water. Wow, that did a ton. We're gonna get hurt by our poison now. I don't like the looks of this. Okay, quickly just do the Thunderbolt. And that'll mean that she'll bring out a new Pokemon. It gives me a chance to take one out too if I need it. Okay, super effective. Wishing to, uh, she landed a critical hit wishing to be praised. Well, you get some praise and good job, Eve. Lots of experience there. And we're still poisoned, don't take Eve out. Oh man, so close. Sand Slash. I will switch Pokemon. I know that Charlotte's good against Sand Slash. We'll just do that. That should be good. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a long episode. <laughs> if I really wanna get all the way to uh, Fuchsia City. I might not go into Fuchsia City, but I wanna get all the way there, you know? Um, let's fight. And Razor Leaf. Come on now. Not a one-hit takedown, but it is super effective. And you're just gonna do Earthquake. Ah, oh, Earthquake is too damaging. I don't like it. Oh, wow, that's really damaging. Okay, fight again. And if we do another Razor Leaf, it should be plenty fine. Okay, and good. So what do we got going on next? Seems like she has a varied team, though, which I, I, I appreciate. A lot of trainers don't have that. Level 45 for Tonka, nice. Dodrio, oh, switch Pokemon. Eve isn't doing very well, I can't bring her out right now. Huh, let's just do Lily. Dodrio, we'll just use Psychic, it might be good enough. Okay, go on Lily, I know you can do it. 
and whoa, Dodrio is really cool too. Like Doduo, like it's a little bit of a basic Pokemon. Doesn't really have too much coloration. It's just like brown. But you know, the Dodrio is really cool because it has like the little red to it. Has like sort of a little fluffiness to it. It's brown. It has like the, the black part at the bottom. Like it just has more, uh, I guess, contrast and diversity, which is really just cool looking. That's sort of like the biggest sort of benefit about evolving your Pokemon is that they usually have core design traits to them just in general. Uh, Non-evolved Pokemon usually have some very, very simple design traits in general. So it's cool to see that sort of expand and evolve, what do you know? Uh, you can't change the nickname of any Pokemon you get in a trade, even if you don't like it. Only the original trainer can get the nickname changed. Wow, well, that's a little silly, don't you think? Okay, so that looks like it's everything in this bottom right corner. We still have plenty more to go, it seems, as we head into Route 15. We got three Ultra Balls, which is pretty good. Got another one of these guys. Okay, I think it would be worth it then to go to my bag and heal up Eve. Okay, so Eve is all healed up. We're gonna go ahead and take on another trainer. More of these biker dudes. Hey, kid, come on. I just got these awesome loser. Did you steal somebody's Pokemon? You're just as bad as those Team Rocket guys. Come on now. Punk Guy Ernest. Primeape. I mean, I think the Pokemon just like wouldn't battle at all once they realize it's not their trainer, but I guess they do to some extent. Anyways, it's a fighting type. I think we'll be fine with just, well, let's try Floaty Fall. Cause I don't remember which one's better against which. So this will find it out for me definitively. Ooh, you got it. Oh, that was beautiful. It's super effective, gotcha. Okay, so fighting, just use some flying type moves. Okay, so what do you got next? Muck. I will switch Pokemon and we'll go to Lily because it's a poison ground maybe, maybe just poison. If we use Psychic, it'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. So let's give it a shot. Okay. So we should be fine with this one. We have lots of different battles on this route. Like it really has been quite an interesting episode with all the different Pokemon types we ran into and just, you know, different atmosphere. You know, we've been spending a lot of time in Saffron City, so it was good to get a change of pace. I don't get it. I mean, maybe taking some time out of your day to train your own Pokemon would help you. Life's too short. It's cool to live as an outlaw. Team Rocket rules. Are you a Team Rocket member or what? I don't know. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me, kid. That's a lot of money. <laughs> we have a lot of money right now. We have over $200,000. Punk Guy Alex. Arbok. Okay, we should be fine with Arbok. I think we can just do a uh, Thunderbolt or Thunder. And that should be good enough to take you down. Like, I could try Zippy Zap, but I think it would be better to do Thunder. Ooh, come on. I mean, I'm a little worried that we might not be able to get to a healing station in time for us to need, you know, more uses for our moves. That's been a little concerning to me. And there we go, we defeated Punk Eye Ox as easy as that. That can't be true. Oh, yes, it can be. Okay, well, another punk guy taking down. Why there's so many of those guys, I will never know. Let's talk to you before we leave. I was just joking about the money. Don't take me all serious. No, you, you would have taken it. Okay, there's another, that's a coach up there. So we found a hyper potion, very useful. And more trainers, oh my gosh. I raise Pokemon for protection because I live alone. Well, I hope they help. It's a very smart idea though. Good on you. Uh, Beauty Lana. It's not Growlithe. Okay, well, I'm not particularly at a you know, bad situation with this. We could probably choose something better. But for right now, let's just do Floaty Fall. You know, we have a lot of uses for Floaty Fall. It's, it's decent damage. It's, should be good. <laughs> I love it, too. It's just ridiculous. One hit takedown. That was beautiful. And who are we going against next? Now we should have even better advantage because we'll have the choice of what Pokemon we want to go against. Another Growlithe. So I'm going to go ahead and switch. We'll switch to uh, Tonka. You know, water's good against fire. Okay, so go on, Tonka, I know you can do it. And uh, we also got Growlithe. Surprise, surprise, we already knew. Bubble Beam. And let's see how that works. Ooh, yes, one hit takedown, that's all I wanted to see. Very nice. And... Growlithe again, so we're just gonna keep at it. So she basically just has guard dogs. I get it, that's funny. 
Okay, fight, and Bubble Beam once more. And it looks like that was pretty good. So with that being done, I think that's yet another trainer taken out. So we gotta go take out that coach, but beyond that, maybe we're good? She gives a lot of money, $2,000. I love having my Pokemon greet me when I'm, I get home. It's so reassuring. She just likes dogs. Sort of cute. Route 15, west of Fuchsia City. Okay, there are some Pokemon popping up. Oh, we got another bird trainer. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead to my party and switch. Oh no, Eve's already out in front. I forgot. Okay, never mind. So we'll have to go back on that upper path too. When I whistle, I can summon bird Pokemon. Oh cool, that's nice. I would like that ability so I can find some more rare bird types. All right, Bird Keeper Edwin. Now, Dodrio. So Dodrio we can handle without an issue. So let's get to it. I'm just gonna do Zippy Zap. Because we're nine levels ahead of you. I mean, they're getting higher level, but so are we. Ooh, hoo, 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 perfect. We've been getting levels so quick. It's been awesome. And just how quickly our team has been pushing through, getting level after level. We're almost all at like level 50 now. That's some crazy stuff. Ow, that's tragic. All right, well, there's another bird keeper defeated. Maybe I'm not cut out for battles. I'm not the ty right type, I guess. Let me go ahead and catch another Venonat. I only have one right now. And this one's probably gonna be much higher level. Indeed it is. Um, and that's good for me because I really need one where I can like level up once and get a Venomoth, just in case I like never get a Venomoth. <laughs> we'll find out eventually. But for right now, let's just go ahead and try to catch it with this Ultra Ball. Not gonna work that time. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Now, ooh, just barely an excellent. If that was any later, any later whatsoever wouldn't have worked. Got it. Awesome stuff right there. You caught a Venonat. Very cool. So 268 experience and 268 experience points. I mean, yeah, I just read that twice. I'm a dingus, Never mind. Uh, and you type the Venonat away in your Pokemon box. Very cool. Another Venonat. I think I'll just, I'll be fine with just one. So I actually have to, oh, but then we're at the very end. Finally, that took so long. Oh my gosh. More and more Venonats are popping up. They're like, oh, you took one of us. You gotta take us all. We come in a bundle. So we're just gonna go back over this way, cut down the tree, take down the two trainers that are there, and then get a Pokeball for it. And then it'll be all done for today's episode. About an hour and a half of Pokemon action. I hope you appreciated it. It's been fun. So we're on Route 15. And I'm gonna go do this. The trainers around here are also very strong. That's right, I've trained every single one of them. I assume you want to get strong. Shall I be your opponent? Or should I, should I battle? I don't know what that said. Anyways, here I come. So she trained everybody, even the punks that are total jerks. I hope not. Coach trainer Midge. Midge sent out Machoke. Is Midge a nickname? I, I, I'm not familiar with that one. Anyways, we can use Floaty Fall. Should be able to deal with Machoke super duper easy. So let's fight our new Floaty Fall. Come on, come on. Level 40, one of our higher level Pokemon we've gone against. Especially on this route, almost enough to take you out. Use Brick Break, ooh, that might hurt. Oh, not bad. Okay, fight and Thunderbolt. Okay. So Machoke is down. That should be a good chunk of experience, I would hope. 568, yeah, that's decent. And Magmar. I'm definitely switching. We're gonna switch over to Tonka again. And we should be fine with that. We've been running into a lot of Magmars recently. I mean, considering how uncommon Magmar seems to be at the least. I mean, we haven't been running into like Magmar every battle, but like every like sixth or seventh battle, there's been a Magmar, which is pretty common for a Magmar. Okay, Bubble Beam, not a very popular Pokemon for one reason or another, maybe because he looks really silly. <laughs> okay, that was super effective. You're gonna try Fire Punch, which won't be very effective. I don't know if I'll do Bubble Beam this time. I might just do a Sure It. Okay, gotcha. We should get a good chunk of money and some Ultra Balls for this, which is awesome. And maybe even some good experience for taking care of Magmar. 700, that's good. And Coach Trainer Midge has been defeated. Now I've trained you too. Okay, me beating you doesn't mean that you trained me, but okay, $4,000 for one. Oh, she didn't give us any Pokeballs. 
Oh yeah, but she should give us a TM. I see the flame of potential in you. Let me give you a TM worthy of your skill. You got Fire Punch. That might be worth teaching to Charizard. Our, you know, our, our good buddy Fred. Um, you can use TM31 to teach your Pokemon the move Fire Punch. It can even give an opponent a burn if you're lucky. Very cool. Okay, I don't need to hear any of this. Let's keep moving. So there should be one last trainer down this pathway and then we're all good for today's episode. Hello, wanna play with my Pokemon? Are we playing or are we battling? Because they're sort of kind of different things. <laughs> okay, so we're challenged by Picnicker Yasmin. Oh, I like that name, very cool. Yasmin Sinat Tangla. So I think that we'll be fine with this. I mean, it wouldn't be particularly Dominating, but that's fine. This is our last Zippy Zap, so let's hope so you have a second Pokemon after this. Ooh, that actually was not good at all. Not very effective critical hit. Okay, so we gotta change right now. Cause I think it's a grass type. I don't think those are like worms or anything. I think it's just, you know, like tangle, tangled like weeds and stuff. So if we use Fred and use Ember and stuff, that should be good. We could have tried to use Floaty Fall. But I mean, we could also use Fred's flying type moves, if that might be better. You're gonna use growth again, which, what does that do? Attack, it's a little bit scary, and special attack as well. Let's try wing attack. How much damage does that do? Ooh, some good damage, it is super effective. Mega drain, oh no. Actually, that was, <laughs> that was fine, okay, never mind. Not very effective. So we will probably put fire punch over uh, fire spin. I feel like that'd be better. I'll have to take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. Eventually, if I ever remember. Because I forget that kind of stuff really easy. There goes Tangela. You should have one more Pokemon, though. And what is that going to be? Oh, I didn't read it. Ah, oh, I switched through too fast. I'll just keep battling then. Sea King. Oh, I'm a dingus. Should have switched my Pokemon. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Switch to Charlotte real fast. I wish like I could press back and like hear it again. Cause I like, you know, just sometimes you hear the same text over and over again, you press A a lot so that you can get by it cause we've seen it for a thousand times. But nope, that was a bad idea. Okay, that really wasn't very damaging. So we're good. I'm just gonna do Razor Leaf. It might even be enough to take you down. First try. Ooh, almost, super effective. And you can try Agility. That'll raise your evasiveness, I'm sure which is not good, but as long as we can, or speed road sharply, which is not really that big of a deal, because we're gonna hit you right now and take you down. Oh, fury attack, not happening. See ya. Okay, so we took down the picnicker, that's good. And 584 experience, level 47 for Charlotte, good job. And I don't think there's gonna be a level up for anybody else, but maybe. Uh, Yep, that's it, defeated Yasmin. I was too impatient. Might be the case. All right, well thank you for the Pokeballs, and what else do you have to say? I'll go train with weaker people. I mean, I guess that's sort of the best way to do it. And what about this, it's TM47 Surf. Oh, that's really exciting. I definitely want to use that for Blastoise, uh, Tonka. Okay, so there we have it. I don't know if I want to go too much farther than in this room, because I don't know what's gonna happen in Fuchsia City, but I had a lot of fun exploring. Are you the kid who is working on a Pokedex? One of Professor Oak's assistants came by here and he seemed to be looking for you. See, we don't wanna to go too far into Future City because I think Lion's gonna to try to battle us. Next episode will be very interesting because we'll try the other path to Future City. Woo, Future City is just full of rare Pokemon. You're not allowed to catch any of them though. Apparently they belong to the city, weird. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The professor told me that if you if your Pokedex has good data on 50 species of Pokemon, I'm gonna give you this wonderful item. So Zebra, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 50 species of Pokemon? Yeah, maybe, yeah, okay, great. You have caught 60 species of Pokemon, congratulations. Here, take this wonderful item. Hmm? Oh, I don't have it, D did I lose it? Ah, oh, so sorry, what shall I do? I don't have anything I can give you, I know. Whoosh! What? <laughs> Phew, okay, here it is. Oh, you got the assistant set from Professor Oak's assistant. Weird, I made adjustments on my lab coat for you and your Pokemon. My precious lab coat, please wear it with care. Weird, now I look like an ordinary person, but please remember that I'm an assistant to Professor Oak. Weird, let's see what's in the binoculars. Small island on the horizon, cool. And 
A shining bird flying towards the sea. A large shining bird. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. An hour and a half of Pokemon action. Hopefully you enjoyed it. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> We're not quite done. I gotta catch Tauros. <laughs> this episode is just a gift that keeps on giving. Okay, ready? No. No, no, never mind. That one was out of the stadium. No. No, what, what was that? That's not what I'm doing. He's gonna get away. Oh, okay, come on, please. I probably should have thrown a berry at him. I regret it. No, don't run away, don't run away. Just seemed like you had it. I don't know about that. Come on, let's quickly give him a berry. A raspberry, sure. Use it. And then get ready. Come on, this is an ultra ball. Best we can really get without using a master ball. What the heck, game? Why does it always happen when I have an intense catch to make? That could have been an excellent, it wasn't. Oh man, that stinks. Come on. Ah, oh, come on, give me one more chance. Give me one more chance, I'll get it this time. Now, no, what is that? I'm throwing it the same way I have all episode. Now, oh my gosh, how is that not an excellent? Come on. Oh. And now. Oh man, that is so tricky. It is so tough. Just give me that catch. Oh man, he is a fighter. Get ready. I'm going for you again. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on tight, buddy. Now. What? Come on. He is really tough. And that, that was, okay, that one I'm calling baloney. That was definitely in the circle. Oh man, he just won't give up. Come on, we gotta, we gotta do this. Ah, oh, excellence, come on, I need them. Mm. Yeah, we did it, we got Tauros. That took a lot of work, I swear he was gonna run away there, but we got him. 424 experience, really not that much, but hey, more importantly, we get a new Pokemon for our Pokedex, we get Eve, Lily, and Fred leveled up, Eve to level 49, Lily to level 50, and Fred to level 46. How wonderfully exciting, and we get to learn a little bit more about Tauros as we put him in our Pokedex. That is very cool. A rowdy Pokemon with a lot of stamina, once running, it won't stop until it hits something. That is sort of scary. All right, you took Taurus away in your Pokemon box in your bag. And there we go, for real this time, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Toro Zebra, so you watch at the end of the URA Zebra Tasking Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.